That's an AME church, and this is the growing homeless encampment just steps away. Church leaders say there was a murder here, at least three fires, and a senior member who was attacked by a dog. But church leaders don't want the city to just clear out this camp. They want these families to find permanent housing. We've had um, young babies born in the back. Mm. Newborn babies. Reverend Dr. Rosalind Kyle Smith Brookins of New Parks Chapel AME Church is referring to the encampment that is next to her church parking lot. By her count, 25 people call it home. We try to feed them, we try to prepare uh, clothing, but it's getting worse. There's not a lot um, that we can do as far as, you know, options for us, um, especially with COVID going on. It took Carlos Serrano two years to build this tiny home, sandwiched between a Walgreens and Interstate 580. It's really stressful um, trying to figure out if we were to be kicked out from here, what we're going to do. Council member Carol Fife says Caltrans has indicated they plan to clear out the camp, but she says neither Caltrans nor the city has any plans to offer permanent housing. This is one of the housing solutions I'm suggesting right now at 3rd and Peralta. Five says she scouted an empty lot that belongs to Caltrans. We will have housing, we will have shower facilities, we will have electricity and plumbing and a humane place for people to stay. But she says it's going to require funding from the city and cooperation from Caltrans. I don't know what the answer is, but something needs to be done. Yeah. In Oakland, Melissa Colorado, NBC Bay Area News.